Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this video post. In today's video post, I want to show you guys a quick technique how I get some vignetting. Obviously, you do get some plugins for that ready, but I want to show you guys the old traditional method of how to do your own vignetting. Because what I like about it, you can always just manipulate your vignetting a little bit and tweak it the way you like to have it. Okay, so let's get started with it. First of all, as you guys can see, I've got this cowboy shot here. And on here, I want to create a little bit of a vignette and then show you guys how I will tweak that vignette a little bit. Alright, so first of all, I do have my smart object here again. What I'm going to do is press Command J, just duplicate that layer again and right click rasterize so we have not a smart object just work really normal on that and just have it as a say retouch layer or whatever okay call it retouch layer and we're going to photoshop on that okay next step that i'm going to do to create my vignetting actually i'm going to go to my marking tool over here and select my elliptical marking tool okay select that and now I want to just create a normal vignette so we have the outside darkened a little bit and the center quite bright. So what I'll do is just select an area over here, move my mouse over here and just select a nice area around here. And I want to pretty much vignette all of that and have him in the center still with some nice highlights. Okay, so what I'm going to do is keep the selection like that. And now we're going to feather our selection. So first of all, I'm going to go to select modify and feather that okay press that and we're going to feather it at a radius of 250 pixels say okay so now we feathered a little bit it has scaled down a little bit our selection but it's not feathered good enough yet so what i'm going to go back again to select and again to modify and again to feather and feather it again with another 250 pixels say okay again and now it will be feathered really nice so now what I'm going to do is go over here to my adjustment layers and select an adjustment layer. So now as you guys can see, we have a new adjustment layer with a nice mask and a really nice feathered inside uh, highlighted selection. And so now I'm able to actually take the selection and move my levels here to the left or right. And you can see how the center darkens or how we can brighten that area. But we said we want to darken the outside. Yes. So I'm going to say... Again, put this just to zero, so we're back to normal. Now what I'm going to do is just press Command J to duplicate that layer. And now what I'm going to do is invert that layer, so we'll select the outside. So press Command E, invert that, and as you guys can see, our whole mask looks different now. So I'm going to blend off this mask or this adjustment layer over here. And our second level, I'm going to just going to take that levels now down a little bit. And as you guys can see, now we're darkening the background completely or just our nice vignette over here and say for instance you wanted to have the person a little bit brighter you can still switch on your other levels over here your other adjustment layer and just brighten that areas a little bit in his face it's not suiting the image at all but just to show you guys you can also tweak the highlights a little bit and also the dark parts a little bit then one technique I also wanted to show you guys on this whole process is what's so nice about this homemade vignette you can actually select your mask over here press B for your brush and then you can already paint in here again but now we're painting with a hundred opacity I'm just gonna press command Z to go a step back and also before I go on you always have to feather your brush completely for this so I'm gonna press command control all together and over here just feather my brush completely because if your brush isn't feathered it will obviously won't look nice at all and you will just have this weird effect so press command zero again to get again rid of that control alt feather your brush completely and now what you can do is obviously darken the area but we don't want to overtake that as a hundred opacity so what I'll say is just 20 opacity just 20 percent opacity and now you can brush really carefully over your areas that you want to darken so you can actually use this uh, kind of a dodge and burn technique you can brighten areas darken areas and just create your own homemade vignette where you just darkening the areas you don't you wanted to darken and brighten the areas you want to brighten so say for instance I want to darken this but I don't want to have it completely darkened like over here so I'm going to just switch my foreground colors and just brighten these areas a little bit again so we have some texture in there until it's looking good okay and also the water down here don't want it to be that much that dark okay over here a little bit more like it like that then I want the stones to be a bit darker so what I'll do is just darken the stones over here a little bit underneath of him 
and obviously we can still fix those things also with the double raw conversion which I showed you guys in the technique some tutorials before I'm just going to switch again back here I don't want it to have it so dark on the mountain again Okay, and paint over here. It's like painting actually on an image. You're just darkening and brightening in areas again. Okay, over there. And you want to darken the sky a little bit more over here. So we're just going to darken that. Have it nice and blue around him. Okay. Here, so that was just on our darkening layer. So we already fixed that a little bit. But I can see that we actually on the person it's completely dark. So what I'll do is press double zero to get into 100 opacity again. And again with a black foreground color, I'm just going to paint out the person a little bit. So we're getting all the details back there under his hat and also at the top. Okay, that was a bit too much already. Okay, over here. And we're just painting back the person. Okay, like that. That's good enough. And then I'm just going to go back into switch my foreground colors again, take my opacity down a little bit, darken around the head, about around the hat. And now we're going to go back to our second layer, which is actually obviously our brightening layer. And I'm going to brighten a little bit again. Just take these levels up a little bit. Just watch out, your image turns to get a little bit dull sometimes, so be careful with that. And over here I'm also going to do exactly the same effect again. Take your brush, and I'm just going to, with a double with 100 opacity, double zero there, I'm going to paint out the person a little bit. I don't want to darken all these areas over here. Okay, paint the person back, but I would like to have his face actually a little bit brighter. So take it to say 50% your brush and we're just going to paint in a little bit of that contrast again. So that is my actually my homemade vignette until so far. You can take both of these layers again, press Command G, put them in a group, and just write there, I don't know, whatever you like to win for vignette. Okay. Then if I'm going to zoom out a little bit again, you'll see that is our before, and our after, before, and after, before, and after. Where we just vignetted it a little bit. It is very saturated now, so I would most probably do another adjustment layer just to desaturate that a little bit and obviously go on with my whole image from there on. But just to show you guys the quick technique that I use for my vignetting stage. One last technique that I actually use in my vignetting most of the time when you actually have a little bit of vignetting let me just zoom in here, You it tends to create these rings through vignetting. So let me just check over here if I'm going to take it all the way up. You will see it a little bit over here. You start to get these ugly rings that we don't really want. So I have another technique. On top of your whole layer here, your adjustment layer, what you can do is go to filter and then you can go to noise and just add noise and you'll say around 1 to 2 or 3%. Just play a little bit with your image. You say add that and your rings are disappearing. So that's a nice technique you can actually use. Okay, we took our levels all the way up now, so don't worry about that. That is actually a nice technique that you can also apply on top of that to just get away of all these rings. So I hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching. If you still have any problems, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.today. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another tutorial. Bye-bye, guys.